Hello and welcome to Shirt Shopping, the series in which myself and a guest have a look around classic football shirts in London. They have a £500 budget to spend and pick out any football shirts that they want for their collection. As I mentioned, this video is of course sponsored by Classic Football Shirts once again and they've also given you guys an opportunity to win yourselves a £50 Classic Football Shirts voucher. All you have to do to have a chance of winning is like this video, subscribe to the channel and comment your dream football shirts in the comment section and you'll have a chance of winning a £50 Classic Football Shirts voucher. Anyway, let's meet today's guest. Welcome to Classic Football Shirts London, Chris. Lots of shirts to look around here today. Yes. What is your favourite football shirt of all time? Ooh, favourite football shirt of all time. It's probably going to be the 04-02 Arsenal Invincible season shirt. Yeah. Uh, I like the away one, the, you know, the yellow and blue. Yeah, yeah. But I think the home one, it's just, I, I don't think I ever actually had it as a kid. And so that's why it always stuck in my mind as like the one shirt that I always wanted to get. Obviously you're an Arsenal fan, so yeah. that season was like your best ever season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leeds fan. too soon, really. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, well. My first season was that season. Yeah. And we got relegated and I was like, just setting me up for the pain of every other thing yeah. ever. What shirts are you looking for today? Any specific eras, uh, any teams, obviously Arsenal, but like any brands, Adidas, like what's your favorite brand, for example? I mean, since Adidas came back to Arsenal, just a huge fan, like, yeah. uh, I don't know disrespect Puma too much, but it was, we had some tough years <laughs> under them. Love an Adidas shirt, love some, I don't know, OG Nike shirts, you know, the total 90 era. That yeah. was, what a time to be alive that was. So probably, probably some of those, I'd say. What's one dream shirt you'd like to find today? Maybe a Bruce Banana? Bruce Banana, yes, very true. Uh, maybe an old England shirt, but maybe like, you know, the 2002 Beckham Greece. Yeah, something the like red that. stripe. Yeah, the there, red yeah. stripe, yeah, I was trying to, yeah, so maybe something like that. Let's do it, let's have a look round. In your video backdrop is the spinning boot. Like, yeah. How did you do <laughs> yeah. that? Uh, it's just like, I, um, my girlfriend actually saw Simon, as in from the Sidemen Simon, yeah. get a, uh, he, he did like a brand deal on it and I was like, that is incredible. Yeah. Um, but I saw a comment the other day that was like, like the, respect this man so much for having a flex of just a Ronaldo boot constantly spinning, spinning in the background <laughs> of a setup. What, yeah. he wore it or signed uh, it? No, he signed it. Yeah, it was when I filmed with the yeah, that's just such a casual like, thing to drop yeah, in. The first time. And, um, <laughs> yeah, and he uh, did like a thing where if you rated my football clips, then he signed a boot. And oh, so okay. he signed it, and that's uh, my most prized possession. So it's quite cool, you've obviously filmed Ronaldo, and now you're with Ellis from away days. Well, so. exactly, yeah, it's the natural, progr yeah, natural <laughs> it's progression. Like building yeah. up slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you've got some Arsenal stuff here, and I think there's maybe a Bruce Banana at the back yeah, in there as that well. Was, that was the Puma kit that I was talking about, the, the tough years. Yeah, there's this... What size, I don't know, what size would you be looking for? There's a, there is the Bruce oh, Banana. Man. I think that might be a bit of a baggy one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what chest size I am, to be fair. I think that's in chest size rather than size. But, oh, it's just glorious, isn't it? It is nice. That's, like, that's not even like a remake either, that's like a, that's a proper old one. Yeah, it is the original, yeah. That's so sick. See, I feel like at the time, that, like, I don't know if people actually liked these when they came out at the time no, or if they it's hated just, them. Yeah, and yeah it's just like a cultural thing that since then we've loved them because yeah. i think a lot of shirts now are so boring like if you look at that people hundred oh, the, the ones that came out this year with um like man just, city yeah. oh they were dreadful yeah <laughs> like and, and so many teams had them as well didn't they so that is yeah that's the invincible season one that is oh just i mean massively too big for me extra large but uh just so nice I think to be fair, like half of a shirt is the memories of what happened in the shirt. I remember when we lost to Iceland, I was on my second date oh with God. my girlfriend. So I like had to watch it through the window of a Chinese. Oh so my I've just word. watched us lose 2-1 to Iceland through the window on this, like, you know, the old LCD TV. Yeah. I like, was just like, this is, it's not worth it. Wow, yeah, you need to sort out the date planning. You, you, you should have you know, I was put under, down some I was rules. under the thumb at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was mad, I can't believe that. If I've, that's probably blasphemy that I've said that now. Yeah, like, uh, well, yeah. Were you at the final? Yeah, we, um, 
I mean, just ended up spending far too much money on tickets because expensive. we just had to, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just take a few instances. Yeah, just, uh, Instagram photo, I was there for business. Yeah. I didn't go to any of the group games, but then went to the Germany one and then everyone after that, except for the one in Rome. How depressing was the final when we left? Uh, <sighs> the rain was coming down. Did you, when the commentator goes, your Euro's finished, and then you just hear him go, Italy, really enthusiastic. And I'm yeah. like, you're English. And the fireworks. <laughs> yeah. And every, oh, that is, yeah, I mean, I remember, so I was with like a group of YouTube guys like Cal Frizi and um, Harry and uh, yeah, just Theo Baker and all that. Yeah. Lot. And um, the final whistle, I just remember Cal being like, all right, lads, like, come on, let's head off, you know, never mind. And I was like, just let me sit here yeah, you, for like an hour and cry. Yeah. So, but my parents were also there as well because they'd actually come down. So they were other side of the stadium. So like, I just waited for the whole stadium to empty and then walked around and was like, all right. It's like the Steve Bruce. <laughs> Been like it would have yeah. been the, probably the best night of everyone's lives. Like how good the night was for Germany. Like yeah, I remember yes. like, just Wembley Way was amazing. Even after the Denmark game when there was fireworks on Wembley yeah. Way. What about sweatshirts and jackets? I'm a big I'm a big Ooh, sweatshirt. Oh yeah, do you know what? I could uh, I could dabble. You could dabble. <laughs> have you heard? Um, there's a great podcast called Under the Cosh, and like they always talk about Neil Warnock on there. I really but apparently, like it's known that he'd always put hemorrhoid cream on himself after this is a really mental story. Okay. Um, and Warnock has them like. <laughs> Horrifically, so he'll be in the train room. He'll be, he'll be like <laughs> shouting at Paddy Kenny. Be like, Paddy, you were sh today, and he'd just like get down and put the hemorrhoid cream on his bare ass in front of everyone. Maybe it's like a power move. Yeah, <laughs> everyone was like, we all listened to him. So funny. <laughs> that sounds. Neil Warlock's changing rooms just got even more traumatized. Yeah. I, I have no memories of it, but that Napoli kit is amazingly nice. Yeah, it was done like in tribute to Maradona. Oh really? What well, was that recent? Oh yeah, 2021. Yeah, so I think they'd already oh. pre-agreed to do it and then he passed away, I think. I might be wrong. Um, yeah, this one is maybe the section you'll like, for example, like this, this man here. Cool. I've got a Perez one of that, actually, that I got sent by Classic Football Shirts. <laughs> they literally sent me one, which is really, really nice. Because I used to have a Perez one. It's a long sleeve arsenal here. <laughs> that one's gone. You know <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit of a sucker for a long sleeve shirt, you know. Is there on the back of that? It's Henri. Is it? That's, I think that's the shirt that he broke the Arsenal goal scoring record in. They were like outside of the foot. I don't know if you've ever seen the goal. It was against like Slavia Prague or someone. Um, yeah, beat Ian Wright's goal scoring record in the shirt. It's quite nice. At actually. that time, I was watching Leeds play like <laughs> this gun for <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is this the one you run about? You, your favourite yes, of all time? Yes, I've, I've already got that with on. Someone, a, a fan actually sent it to me, which was sick. Like, just sent me like a full proper retro shirt that fit me with that real class. I know. These oh, are that. Oh, I love that blue one actually. That's, that's medium as well. Sick. Oh, that's. That could be straight in my basket. <laughs> It's got a marine in the back, isn't it? That's is it very nice. It says small, but I think it fits medium. That I, I'm not sure. I feel like I maybe had. I think I actually had on marine. It's just so sad because I just had all these shirts back in the day. So <laughs> obviously we were talking before we were, uh, start recording about the Wembley Cup. You've had the opportunity to play in several YouTube events at some amazing stadiums. Who was the best player you've ever played with? Ooh. Yeah, I'd, I'd say Steven Gerrard, like by a quite a long way as well. It was the, so the, I can't remember which Wembley Cup it was, but. It was after he'd like, I think feel like two years after retiring at Liverpool. Yeah. And you know in the final days when he was playing at Liverpool, it was like he's even, um, he'd moved to like CDM. And yeah. when you'd watch him, it was like he's seriously slower than everyone else now. He'd like really got to a level where he was just having to sit and just like use his passing. And like even having him play two years after that with all of us, he was like, easily the fastest strongest player like you just don't realize with these professional footballers like how big and physical yeah. that even to get to that level it was just like i've i've i was amazed at how he was the quickest person on the pitch even compared to you know like people who are our age and like yeah. really decent sprinters and stuff easily could outpace them easily could just push anyone off the ball it was mental how good he was yeah i was on your team at clash with creators i know i remember yeah I'm, I'm Friggin Friggin there. was were you uh, <laughs> basically because I, I played for norwich for a couple of years like oh, you really? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. But, yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like, the level, like, you'd be under nines and like 10 people would be released. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's like, like you go through to boot camp on X Factor each year. Like, yeah. You get like a grade and then you move on through. And like you, the parents, like some of the parents thought, like my mum called me her pension. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the pressure on an eight year old there. <laughs> yeah, just instantly there. that's when you got cut out yeah, of Norwich. So, and the pressure got to you. I, got, I didn't hit puberty until I was like 20. So uh, I was like, join the I, club. My final game was against Arsenal. And I got chipped from about 40 yards. Oh, Jesus. And my dad said to me after the game, he was like, wait, were you in goal? Yeah, I was a goalkeeper. Oh. 
Oh. He went to me, it's not going to work out, is it? I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to play Modern Warfare 2. I was like, I'm not. I'm, it's That's not a difficult working period out. of life, to be fair. We had the Leeds Academy come to Jersey in the Channel Islands once. Just had one training session and then they were like, gave me most improved player. You take that. Home. Yeah, I was like, it's still on the counter somewhere yeah. at home. It's still on the mantelpiece at my mum's house. I used to love when they'd give clubmen. In, did you ever do like end of season awards? There was yeah. always a clubman, which is basically yeah, yeah, yeah. code word for your <laughs> <laughs> it was like who, yeah, who like goes to every single training session, but ultimately is. Takes <laughs> away the cones. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. We, I, th I feel like we had um, managers player and then players player. Yeah. So like one was voted by the players, one was voted by the manager. We had parents player. That's a bit political, really, isn't it? That is quite political. It was based actually. on really, I think, who your parents mingled with. Yeah. I mean, my dad was the manager of our team, so already. Did you ever I, get I managers like I player? Went, no, no, no. I, I couldn't. My best mate Ben. His <clears throat> dad was manager. Each <laughs> year. Him and his brother, one of them would get Father's Player of the Year. Because I was like, that's like, so tragic. The year you <laughs> don't win it, your dad has <laughs> chosen your brother over you. <laughs> Wait, so it could only go to one of, the, one I mean, of those be a bit, sons. Yeah. Be a bit weird if you gave it out to someone else. Father's Father's Player yeah. of the year. I have an announcement. <laughs> <laughs> so I've also spotted a Freddie Lundberg one yeah. in, the, uh, in the old Arsenal kit, which is pretty lovely. It's a size small as well, but... You know, I've been hitting the gym quite a lot recently, so I'm a bit worried they're not going to fit. Yeah, I had just, noticed. Yeah, a lot of people do. What about a Baggio? Mm -hmm. It's a nice one, little bit of Bobby Baggio. Yeah, that's nice. That would be half your budget gone, though. It's true. And you'd be terrible at penalties in that shirt, so. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Tricky one. But he saved it! Adebayor. Oh. Is he probably the most hated player in Arsenal history? Nah, I'd say Van Persie's probably above him now. What about Adebayor? <sighs> I feel like... Adebayo's just like a bit of an annoyance because he didn't really do anything after leaving us. Van Persie was like more emotional because it was just all the Man United fans that you knew at school or whatever were just like... And he did win them the league. Yeah, yeah, that too. <laughs> but Adebayo with the celebra... I, I, like, I feel like Van Persie was quite respectful. Obviously, he, he scored like a header against us and then celebrated, but it was like that was like his second or third game against us. It was like you can't keep expecting them to not celebrate. Nah. So I felt like that was fair. Adebayo was just like first game against us, just sprinting. But I guess that was because he got abused. and That was such a good celebration. It's iconic. It, it was huge yeah. class. I remember, like, um, I remember seeing Arsenal fans, obviously, like when he's knee sliding in front of them, throwing things at him. Someone throws like a plastic chair, like what, like, a, like one of those little like step stool things. It's like, that's not going to hurt him. Like, what, it's like someone's just looking around for the nearest thing. But also, like, who has that in a crowd? Like, How do you get them in? Like, <laughs> yeah. I was going like, in the backpack. Obviously, you've mentioned you've played with Gerard and some other players. Have you got any match-worn shirts yourself? You must have footballers reach out to you all the time and like who have seen your content. Yeah. I mean, even I do, and I'm irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't think I've... I haven't got any, like, actual worn by anyone. Not one? No. I don't Did you not so. try and, like, after the Wembley Cup, try and nab one? I don't... I can't really remember, to be fair. It's all no, I, I don't... I, I've never been that, like into match worn shirts or anything mm. um i don't know i think i was just trying to like keep the fanboy inside me down so i yeah. didn't want to go out there and just be like i'd yeah. be horrendous yeah i'd be like yeah. that one's worth about a grand yeah yeah so the ones you've got in your hand at the moment are they current are they maybes or are they definite these i th these are definites for me i i like the baggio shirt although i haven't looked at the size medium that could work yeah i like the baggio shirt um i don't know if you ever played a game it's called roberto baggio's free kicks in like year nine. What, on like the computer? Yeah, it was like one of those like mini clip games yeah. and it was incredible, like so many hours gets, so I feel like that's just a tribute, not even to Roberto Baggio, <laughs> just the footballer, to the flash game. just to the mini clip game, <laughs> yeah. This shirt is when we won the league at Old Trafford. Will nice. Jordan's goal. What are you looking at budget wise? <clears throat> um, so I think I'm gonna, I like the gold one, but I don't know if it's as nice as, Freddie Lundberg was a player I used to love as a kid. He was just like, you know, not like one of the standout players, but just did all the easy stuff and did it amazingly. Yeah. I think I might get Lundberg. I might get that one. That's looking delightful. This Henri one's a bit more expensive. That Henri one as well. Oh, I love that blue one. Just it might just be, I think a small might be too small for me. Oh yeah, I reckon you might have to try it on. I think you'd pull it off. So, you've got three shirts. The uh -huh. budget has been spent. So what we'll do is, you can check out for them and then we'll take a look at what you've decided to get and how much it came to. If 
thank you very much very for coming on the shirt shop in Chris MD. Have you found it? I've loved it, mate. I could I could do this all day, honestly. Do you know what I mean? Part two, part three, part four. Up there with the Ronaldo collab. Yeah. <laughs> on that note, if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. Remember, if you like and subscribe, you have a chance of winning a £50 CFS voucher for yourself to buy any of the shirts on here and online too. Thank you very much to Chris MD and Classic Football Shirts London. Be sure to check out, you've all heard of Chris's channel, let's be honest, this video is doing like 30,000 views. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Ellis. Ciao, ciao. Bye.